Welcome back. In this video, we will look at making the camera better. So if we play this game, first of all, we notice that our camera is relatively low, um, just looking at the game window here. The other problem is, of course, is that as we move the ball, um, there's potential for the ball to go out of the camera's range. Now, of course, it's just fallen off here, but it would be nice to have a better perspective and then also have the camera follow. So let's deal with the perspective first. So in this window here, if I zoom out, you'll notice that the camera is actually an object in the game. There it is. We can move the camera around. So with these arrows, we can move it up. Okay, we can move it back if we wanted to. We can move it wherever we want. Um, let's close this up too. Obviously, right here, there is the position as well. So we could set this. I mean, I think it's okay. Roughly, let's just set this to maybe a little bit higher, three. And then this position, let's just set that to a nice negative 10. Now, it's pointed in a little bit of a eh, not so good position. We can rotate as well. So up here, this is the move tool, the move widget. We can set this to the rotate widget. And so then I could sort of rotate this down. Now, I'm not too happy with that position. Um, I think maybe I'm going to move it in a little closer there and maybe up a little bit more too. That's so sorry. That was down. Let me up, move it up, up a little bit and maybe move it in a little bit. Something like that. Okay. Now it's not a, you know, exactly where it is, but this would give you a better position. So if I hit play here, We have a bit more of a top-down perspective, but we still have the issue where the ball can leave the play area, right? We cannot see it. It's still in the play area, but we can't see it. So let's put a new script on, and this script will let the camera move. So I'm going to come under here, right-click in the script still, right-click, create C-sharp script, and we will call this camera controller. And, and then we'll double click on it and go back into our uh, Visual Studio where we can edit this. Now this script is going to be very easy. What we're going to do is two things. One thing is we're going to measure the difference in the position between the camera and the player. And we'll call that an offset. So I'm going to create a public variable just so that we can see it as well. It's going to be a vector three. So it's going to deal with X, Y, and Z. And like I said, we'll call that offset. The second variable that we'll use is that the camera needs to find the player. And so the player is of the type game object, and we will call it player. So what's going to happen is that at the beginning, we have to measure the offset. At the moment, we don't know what it is. So what we're going to do is calculate that. So I'm going to put offset is set to the difference in the transform dot position. Now this is of the camera because this is of itself. This script will be on the camera minus the players transform dot position. And you can think of the dot here as almost a possessive. Okay. The players transforms position. And I spelled transform wrong. Notice the red there. And so I'm going to correct that by putting an S in. Perfect. Save that up. Control S. Camera's not going to move yet, but we're going to see what this is doing. So before I do that, before I hit play, I need to make sure that on my camera, I throw my script onto it. What you'll notice here is that the offset is a vector three. It has X, Y, and Z. At the moment, it's zero. And that's because it doesn't know what the offset is. Now, I'm going to do something wrong here just to show you. So I'm just going to hit play. And what you'll notice is that it doesn't seem to be working. The ball isn't falling. That gives an indication that there's an error. So if I want to see what the error is, I'm just going to pause it here. Whoops. Now, it did work there. Um, and the reason it did, let me just pop this up. There was an error earlier, and it sort of threw an exception. 
And so if I go back, probably right to the beginning here, actually, let's just see. Do, 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 do. Sorry, this, it paused on error. That was what was on. And maybe if I just double click on those. Hmm. It used to be able to figure it out easier. Let's just see if we can find it. I can explain what the problem is if I clear this up. Okay, let's just hit play again and see the error pop up. Now that's interesting. Oh, there we are. It says an unassigned reference exception. The variable player of camera controller has not been assigned. And so what this issue is right here is that on the camera, it needed to know, let's go back to the camera, it needed to know who the player was. The game doesn't know who the player is. So we need to tell it. And so what we'll just do is we'll simply drag the marble, that's our player, into here. Okay, so now when we hit, go back, ah, I was on play mode there, sorry, that was my fault. Let's do that again, so notice it's gone, so I have to do that again. Try it again, play. That error should be gone. Okay, we have to, we can clear it, it's gone. But notice now the game is actually working. Okay, the ball fell, I can move the player. Now let's just talk a little bit about what this offset is. So notice that it's zero, zero, but when I hit play, it measures what the initial um, position was. Now one thing I noticed is that because the ball was falling, um, the camera position isn't gonna be exactly right. So what I wanna do here is go back to the marble. I'm gonna put that back to 0.5, as if it was on the ground, okay? So when we measure this again, go back to the camera, we'll notice that there, those were the exact position that we put the camera. It was three and a half, well, it was four units um, up, okay? Now it's saying three and a half because that's the measurement on the uh, y-axis, the difference in the height, and then negative eight. The camera will always be that far away from the marble. So it's not moving at the moment, so let's just get that moving. And so I'm gonna go back to my script, and I'm gonna change that in the update. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the transform dot position. And I'm gonna set it to being whatever the position is at the moment. And then I'm just gonna add on the offset. So I'm gonna change the position to be whatever the position is and actually I need to make a change here. This should be the player's position. So whatever the player's position is, and then add the offset to it, which will put it to, you know, however many units, sort of eight units um, back, and then roughly three or four units up, okay? So wherever the player is, the camera is always gonna be the same distance away from it. And making sure that's an update is gonna change this like I said, 20, 30, 40, 50 times a second. So it's gonna keep up with the ball. So let's save that and see it in working. All right, taking its time. There we go, and it made it smaller. Okay, so let's see now. I hit play. It measures the offset. If the ball is on the ground, as I move it, what we'll notice now is that the camera follows the ball. Now it's always this, whoops, and it will even fall it off the side of the earth. And in fact, you can see it, it was, if I zoom out a little bit here and look down, they're both falling together. There goes the ball, there goes the camera, and they will fall forever. Well, until this gets too large and then it causes a bit of a problem. All right, but that's the big idea. So now you've learned a very simple, we'll just stop that, camera controller script where it figures out how far away it is from the player okay and then it updates its position based on the player's position and maintaining that offset the same distance it was away so the camera and the player are always the same distance away good all right next thing um, as you saw that problem there we should go ahead and maybe add some walls here so our player doesn't fall off the side of the earth. Okay, we'll do that in the next video.